Okay, I'm looking, get this over here a little bit. I'm looking at uh, number one again uh, on the lab. Um, as a reminder, hopefully you have watched the lab, but I did an example where I used an N of 10, and my first probability was 1 fifth. Remember, to input a fraction on my uh, binomial distribution calculator, you simply type in under P equals 1 divided by 5, and there you go. And you see my first graph is definitely right skewed or right tailed. Um, I'm going to title it. I'll, I'll title it uh, N equals 10 comma P equals 1 fifth. I want to show you some. Hit the enter button and it re-titles uh, it. Let's uh, copy this graph. Copy. Now, when we paste it into our lab document, since our lab document is a Microsoft Word document and we're pasting from Excel, these things can be persnickety and change when you change your data again. Right click, and I'm going to choose Paste as a picture. That way it's just pasting the image. So I'm going to paste it as an image. Here it is. I'm going to select it and maybe get it a little smaller where it fits nicer. Then we'll come in and paste the next one right under it. Let's create the next one. Now if you remember my next graph, I think I did it for, um, what was it, P equals two-fifths. Let me make sure of that. P equals two-fifths. Yes, so I will go in. I'm going to change the P to equals 2 divided by 5. Remember, these are examples. This is not your lab. I think you do it for 1 fourth, 1 half, and 3 fourths. So there's mine for 2 fifths. I'm going to change the title. I'm only going to change the P to 2 fifths for this one. Delete 2 fifths. Okay. Now I am going to right click copy. I'm going to go back to my uh, lab document and right under my first graph, let's scroll this up, right under my first graph I'm going to paste as a picture. And that way, see, it doesn't affect the first graph. And if you choose, there's various pasting options. If you choose the wrong one, you'll end up getting a graph that changes every time that you uh, do something different in Excel. And we don't want that. So if you just paste as a picture, let me try to get these about the same size so it doesn't look shoddy. All right. So there's that one. Now, finally, my third one was for four-fifths. So in that cell, I'm going to type equals 4 divided by 5. Hit the Enter button. Changes. You can see it's a nice left-tailed graph. I'm going to change my title to P equals 4 fifths. 4 fifths. Right-click. Copy. Go back to my lab document. Right under this one. Again, I'm going to paste as a picture. And if you don't have this version of Word, you, it might be a paste special, but here it is. I'm going to select it and make it. I'm going to try to get it about the same size. Let's scroll up and see if I can tell. I can't tell if it's the same size or not. So I'm going to get it close and see if I can tell. Yeah, that's close enough. But that's how easy it is. I just pasted those three in.